Hey guys, me again. And there's a question that I feel needs to be answered, and it may have been answered in the commentary track on on this DVD that uh, on this movie that I'm about to mention. But it's a question that I've been wondering since about 1990, which is when the movie came out, I think. And it's a question that, well, I kind of, I kind of wonder if the person's math on this makes sense. Okay, here it is. In Back to the Future Part Three. When Buford says, you owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Yes, I know that adds up to $80. I know that. But now, that's the question. Does Doc owe that, owe that, owe him the money? Or is Buford more or less trying to extort the money from him? For something for service that was already provided, hmm? I don't know. What do you guys think? Remember, remember, remember that scene in the movie, you know, where Buford says, "You owe me five dollars for the whiskey and seventy-five dollars for the horse." Yes, I know that adds up to $80. I know that. But, does Doc owe him that money? Or is Buford actually trying to extort that money from him? Hmm? You tell me. Because I say, Doc, Doc owes him this much. Nothing. He owes him nothing. I want to hear from you guys on this subject. If you guys have ever seen this movie and you guys know what, know what I'm talking about, let me know your thoughts. On what? Let me know what you think. Okay. All right. So, guys, what do you guys think? Does Doc actually owe Buford that money, or is Buford more or less trying to extort money from him for service? For goods and service, for a service that was already provided. Hmm? You guys tell me. Because I say, Doc doesn't know, doesn't know Buford had in any money. No, he does not. Alright, guys. You guys have a good day. And you guys have a great rest of, rest of your summer, alright? Okay. Just want to get this video out there and, you know, actually get this question into circulation. Because I say, no, he doesn't. What do you guys think? Alright? So, guys, like, comment, share your thoughts down below. Click that bell to be notified of future videos. Turn on bell. Turn on. Turn on the bell for notifications. Cause guys, we all know that you. We all know YouTube doesn't like doesn't may not notify you when I upload a new video. And when I and earlier when I said this, when I said, you know, click that. I mean, click that bell. I meant to say subscribe. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, um, so guys, just share your thoughts. That's all I want to know is your thoughts on this subject. Okay? That's all. Hey, guys, like, comment, subscribe, click that bell to be notified for future videos, and share this video around. If you so desire to do so. It's your decision. It's your right to do so. Not forcing you. Not forcing you to do so. Okay?